Shake Swampity here, and it's another episode. Rulani, Rulani, where art thou, Rulani? Let's go. That's how it goes. They keep asking about the best when they know it's me. Okay. Asking about the rest when they know it's me. Straight in, I guess. You know it's me. Yeah, eh? Rulani Mukwena. <laughs> Firstly, congratulations, Jose Rivera and Orlando Pirates, you know, winning another cup. Without a doubt, this guy goes to finals. The Spanish guitar goes to finals, does not play the final. He wins the final, no doubt. But the South African coach, the tactician. Man, I, I, I wonder about Rulani because games with serious consequence, I don't know if he is winning them. He loses those games. Yes, you can point out and say, but he nearly went unbeaten. You know, Sanon are going to the Club World Cup. Yes, they won the AFL and they won the league. But this squad, in all honesty, should be winning a lot more than what it is. And I tell you something, you wouldn't believe me when I tell you this. Since Rulani was appointed the head coach of Mamluri Sanal, he's had nine opportunities to win nine pieces of silverware. And you know how many he's won? Three. Three. And Sanos is not even spending in the same bracket as Keza Chiefs. It's not spending in the same bracket as Super Sport United. It's not spending in the same bracket as Orlando Pirates. This is an international squad. It's an international squad, guys. There's no way to run about it. And only thing he's ever collected this season is the AFL and the league. And you're talking about domestically. He's only been able to take the league and only take the league last season. Jose Rivero has won more than Rulani has with much less, if you think about it, in terms of silverware. You can talk about your numbers, how much they're going to get at, at Club World Cup and all of that, but it's all about winning. And when they put this kind of money into Mamluri Sundowns, Rulani Mukwena, you have to win. I sat back over the weekend thinking to myself, like, imagine if Pito had this squad, not the one he had. Imagine he had this one. How much would he be able to win? Roland, I'm going to hate to say it, man. I think you're great. I think you're an upcoming coach. I think there's big things that are going to happen for you. But Sanos is not going to wait for nobody. And I think next season is your last season. You have one strike left. And if you have the same season as you had in the last two seasons, whether Club World Cup is here or not, you are out, my friend. A football lover and as well as a Safja member. Not only that, he's a sports reporter at YFM. Guys, give it up for Tulekhanyo Molebalwa. Amazing. I tell you what, if you think I'm harsh on Rulani Mokwena, you might want to have to hear what he has to say. Another big guest on Playing the Field with Chicks. Let me tell you about this guy, guys. Content creator, loves football like I do. He's a Safja member. I didn't even know about that. A sports reporter at YFM on Saturdays, Tulekhanyo Molevalo, how are you, sir? Uh, Shakes, I'm all good, bro. Uh, thanks for the invite. You know, I've always wanted to come on this platform. I won't lie, because uh, the secret, uh, you know, those people looking from far. Hey, man, I hope my day will come. But uh, it's finally come. I'm here. <laughs> oh, man, your, your day has come because of your passion, man. Like your passion for football and all that stuff, right? So, I mean, for you, you've always loved football. And you watch football and you've been to, like sort of viewings and everything. Let me ask you one question. Which game did you look forward to the most on Saturday? Was it the one at 3 or the one at 9 p.m.? Look, I had to, like, split my, my anticipation. You know, uh, the Pirates made match against Ola, uh, Orlando Pirates versus Sundowns. That game was basically uh, a starter that disguised as a main course. You know, because uh, in a way, it was unfair to put a final this big to play at, at that time, you know, but my, my attention was divided. You know, I was anticipating, I was excited, I was nervous, you know, because I was supporting, unfortunately or fortunately, Mamaluri Sundowns in this one. So you're a Sundowns fan? Yes. So what happened is that, look, some will say um, I'm, I'm a, I'm a drug setter, as they would say in Afrikaans, but I used to support Vets. We all know what happened to Vets, yeah. you know. So I needed a team. And then naturally, after losing that history, I thought, let me be a glory hunter and uh, go to Sundowns. So yeah, that's that's my team locally. Yo, I, I love how you're like so open about that. Now see that you are a 
day, a Sundown supporter. I've been a Sundown supporter for a couple of years now. Let me ask you the question that's been buzzing throughout this weekend. Rulani Mukwena lost in the Bank Cup this, this past weekend. Is Rulani Mukwena underachieving what the squad he has? He is underachieving. Like, unfortunately, look, we, we have to just be honest about it. You 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 spend the amount of money that Mamelodi Sundown spends on their squad and just on everything in, in terms of going into a season, you have to be getting more than just the DSTV premiership, right? Yes, they won um, the, the inaugural, um, what's that you call African? AFL. AFL, you know? So we, we, we can't, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, What's the word I think we can use here? It's a rich man's cup, basically, you know, because it's the elite clubs that just are playing there. And locally, Rolani is supposed to be walking away with all domestic trophies. He failed in, in CAF Champions League um, at a semi-final this time around. So for me, looking at it, I'm saying it's, 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 it's an underwhelming season, you know, because with all the players that came in, the exported players that came into, into his, his team, he's supposed mm. to be winning the NetBank Cup. And to lose it the way in which he lost it. Yeah. No, I hear you with regards to that. And the thing is, like, now you find yourself in a situation where it's year number two. Fail, I mean, did not be able to win the CAF. Uh, did not get to the final of the CAF. And even in domestics as well. He's had about, like, maybe six shots at a domestic trophy. Whether if it's the Nipping Cup. Whether if it's the MTN8. Whether if it's the, the Carly Knockout. He's had, like, a number of attempts at Cups here. And he's not been able to do that. Where do you stand? Some people say he must go. Where does where do you stand? Does he stay? Does he go for the following season? What would you say? Look, uh, it's 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 easy for me as a fan to come on here and say Rani must walk, right? But that would be unfair, right? Um, this is this is basically the first time uh, Mamelodi Sundowns are giving this guy the reins to run the team as a head coach, right? He himself has said it. He's basically in his what? He's going into his third season. If Rolani has a similar season to the one he just had now, right, next season, then maybe we can start having that difficult conversation. Because you look at it, look at this season. The man lost one league match. Literally, yeah. he, he went almost invincible. He was left, 15 minutes left. Then he goes invincible. You understand? So... For me, he broke the, the, the point record in, 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 in Premier League in our uh, in the Premier League history at home. So I don't know what, what more do people want Rolani to do for him for them to say he must leave. So I think keep Rolani another season. But unfortunately now the stakes are higher because now the Tropi and, 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 and the Motepe family have to tell him you have to bring the domestic cups to the table also, Rolani. And you need to make it past that this little hurdle that keeps tripping you in the CAF Champions League. You need to go further than a, a quarterfinal, further than a semifinal. You need to go to the final and win it. Rolani mm. can't go to the CAF Champions League final next season and lose it. He needs to win it because of the resources that he's given. You know, that, that, that can't be an excuse for him. No, I hear you with the to that. And when we speak about going to the next stakes, Relevo Hila Mufukeng, Scored the winner. You saw what he did to Bongani Zuma. I hope he's all right at this moment. Tell me something about this kid. Are we in agreement that he's the best youngster in the country, number one? And how far do you think he can go in his career? Look, um, Triggs, this season, a star, a, a star, a star was born. Um, Rene, look, man, you know, this morning coming to work, to work, every person. I was, I was walking past, I was exiting the Khao train station. Literally, the security guards are speaking about Rele. And um, you walk through, I was walking through Rosebank, the security guards and just normal South Africans, that's who they're talking about. They're talking about just the goal, what, what, what it meant for them as, as Orlando Pirates supporters, what it did for them, the happiness that came from that move, what he did to Zoom. For me, I was feeling sorry for Zoom because I'm like, this man has a family. <laughs> You know, you can't be doing that to a man with a whole family, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, for, for, for me, look, Rene literally has the world at his feet. Um, manage him. You know, that, that, that's the one thing as South Africans we've been failing to do with our young talent is managing it very well. Is that remember, you want to be in this game not for five years, not for two years, 
but for you want to play it for 15 years and 15 years at the highest level you know on the mm-hmm. biggest stages so I, i'm i'm almost like in agreement with hugo bruce in saying really shouldn't make the quick step of trying to leave the south african shores so if he does leave the south african shores manage the expectation manage the minutes almost do it like how um ronaldo's move to manchester united was managed years yeah. back right in terms of don't don't say he needs to be starting all the games say they we just need him to be playing 40% of the matches once he goes there but manage him well so that by the time that he's like 20 and he's playing you know either at the rangers or any of the clubs that are interested in him that you are actually able to get the best out of him so we avoid a cashless mylula situation because that's literally the last thing we need you know i actually love how you set this this one up because when i move into this one i'm thinking to myself he's right about in terms of we have to set these kids up at the play at a, at a very young level and obviously our development has to get better i'm watching the europa league right you've got ademela lukman scores the hat trick the nigerian fine i'm watching um the conference cup as well you just see the moroccan having to score the winner there and then you're watching the the UEFA Champions League and you see Vin- Vinicius doing his thing. You see a Jude Bellingham doing his thing as well. And unluckily for, for Dortmund as well. Let me ask you this question, Tulakhani. When will we ever have a South African player playing at those kind of finals? What do you think? I, I, I think that this goes back to some of the elements that I just touched on now, right? Yeah. So we need to... our development needs to be on i think at a psl level in terms of the league right and when you go to ddc we've gotten it right we actually have gotten it it's perfect the ddc system is perfect because it it allows clubs to test out these kids at 18 17 give them the necessary minutes they're giving them coaches that are actually like what you look look at what coach surprise mourinho is doing with the sundowns team you look at uh, the stellenbosch team how 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 they've been performing over the past couple of years the super sport united team right so these kids it, it's a it's a it's a system this thing unfortunately it's like a a, a chain reaction right triple effect yeah. so once we go here at the bottom they get foot uh, they get uh, pushed into the system bit by bit and now we are not relying solely on uh, the motsepe foundation league where players normally in south africa used to get sent to go get minutes when they are like around 19 20 and then they either make it or don't make it to the first team after a year down there now dbc gives them that platform we need to sort out the system unfortunately now at national level safa needs to come to play right um i, I was i was listening to coach desri ellis cuz i attended the kosafa um technical study group uh, about yeah. a week ago right and and coach desri ellis was talking about how during international breaks you look at the moroccans you look at the senegals of of africa right those teams when they go into international breaks all the age groups are playing from the women's team to the 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 the, 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 the men's team they ensuring that all those those age groups have matches and friendly set up for them during that period which is why when we go to international tournaments like qualifiers for the olympics qualifiers for fifa world cup under 20 you'll see a senegal you'll see a morocco doing well because these players won imagine grooming them from Uh, age 15 till they get to under 23 But those guys mm. by the time they get to under 23 they they used to play with each other so, so much that the transition now to club level putting them on a world stage now these guys are performing for a kaiser chiefs they're performing for a mamelodi sundowns they're performing for a, a, a skukune and then from there on we export them then the world is literally in south africa's oyster you look at brazil for example they not They're not the world beaters internationally anymore. But one thing Brazil never misses by is by exporting talent real quickly. The Vinicius Jr. went early. Rodrigo went early. You can see some of these players. Enrique is about to sign for Real Madrid. Someone is linked to Chelsea. That one is going to go away. Is that also the part that we need to also let our kids go early? Let them leave as soon as possible so that they develop much better elsewhere and instead of here, if we're being honest. No, I'm hundred percent. I I agree with you there because look, the early they leave, right? And 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 also it's it's, it's a matter of where are you sending them, right? Look, America, America is not the greatest team in terms of football development. But mm-hmm. if you're sending some of these kids, let's say to Europe, and you're sending them to 
your 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 Red Bull Salzburg, right? Look, that's a team that took money out of dust and they turned him into the player that he is right now. You understand? So it yeah. depends where you're standing. So that's also like I think the education that needs to be sent out to like some of these players is that it's great to to go to Europe, but it's about where you're going. Are you are you is that team gonna be able to to help and foster your development in the long run? It's not a matter of we're getting this 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 kid on board and all we just looking for is someone for right now. It's a thing of long term. That's key. Listen, man, I've got I've got a couple of questions left. Quick answers from you, man, if need be. Firstly, Bafana Bafana take on uh, Nigeria and Zimbabwe. Six points to play for. How many points are we getting? I, I, I think six. I think six. Hugo Bruce must not overthink it. Hugo Bruce must not overthink it. He, he, AFCON showed him how he needs to play. The yeah. players that he needs to select. It's unfortunate Grant, Grant Kekana is out of the team now, but I think given coming into that team, still a solid replacement. So he knows. Set it up like in AFCON, you should be able to beat Nigeria and Zimbabwe. Unbelievable. Ballon d'Or. Who's the front runner right now for Ballon d'Or? Oh, this is... I, I think this, it's simple, guys. We shouldn't even try to debate this. I know people are going to throw names like Jeep Bellingham, your Phil Foden's. Man, it's it's Vinicius Jr. Just give oh. Vinicius what he deserves. He's, for me, I, I won't lie, he's been the best player in the world for, 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 for a while now. And he's shown yeah. it this season. I mean, he scored in two consecutive Champions League finals. What, what more do you want from him? Yeah. No, I love that. I love that. Then the final one I have for you, man, you can answer it however you like. Where is South African football for you right now? Cool. We 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 lagging. Look, uh, Shakes, I'm not even gonna I'm gonna I'm not gonna sit here and, and try and, and, and sound politically we are lagging. You know, um there's there's, there's signs. There's signs that are like good here and there, but for South African football, I think to like get to a really, really good place, you need you need the big two competing. Man, I don't know if, if I hope they, they'll watch this, even this bit. Can Kaiser Chiefs and Orlando Pirates compete for this league? It benefits mm. everyone. It literally makes us watch this league. It, 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 it brings fans into the stadium. It makes people glue to their TV screens. It, it's good for, for, for South African football. It improves Bafana Bafana. We need those two teams competing with the other teams that are already competing for the league. And I, when I mean competing, I mean going toe to toe with Mamelodi Sundowns for players, for for on the pitch, you know, like mm-hmm. everything. Not just uh, on paper we are competing. Like be going for it. Points must be one point, three points difference. That's for me, you know. But we lagging, but we will get there. You know, uh, there, there's some people that are working very hard to ensure that this product is 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 is, is great. And me and you enjoy it as much as we do, but we are lagging. We out of out of ten, I'd, I'd say we are like a four. Yeah, that's how lagging we are. We are like a four. Mm. No, man, I I definitely agree with you with regards to that. I think we are lagging. I think eventually we'll have to come to a great place. And a, and a very powerful point to mention that the the big two, I guess, should be able to compete for the league as well. It will definitely help out. To Lakanyo, I want to say thank you so much for being a guest. I also want to say this, man. I'm not, I'm not, I've never met you. I'll be honest, I've never met you, but you were always creating content. I need you to get back to that guy. Whoever that guy was, creating content, YouTubing, doing the things, you keep on doing it, man, because there's definitely a role for you with regards to this journey. I love people who are passionate about football and sports like you are. So if you can ever get back there, we'll appreciate it. But thank you for being a guest, man. No, I thank you very much for the invite. And uh, I'll, I'll say it here. You know, I am coming back. I've dusted off the mic. Uh, we are we are just in, in pre-production planning. So uh, very soon, even you, you know, I, I guess the first time I meet you, it's already an invite. I'm extending it. will be the day me and you have to sit down and, you know, chat about uh, this beautiful game that we love. No, man, I'd absolutely love it. Anytime you invite me, I'll definitely be there. But I appreciate you, man. Keep well. And thank you so much. No, thank you very much. And also, bro, thank you for, for, for creating the content that you create. Um, you were one of the people that literally made one to see that, look, 
by creating platforms and creating content, this is where you can end up. So also on your side, big ups, bro. Always, always liking, always retweeting, you know. So yeah, no, continue and please, bigger and bigger. You know, it's coming. Who was up to par and who became our star? But also, who fell short in this game we all love? Let's find out on Muhu of the Week. The star of the week is pretty obvious, Relevo Hile Mofo Gang. But you know what? Before I go any further, you guys, now, you guys are sleeping on me. Like, you guys are, are sleeping on me. Like, on me. And I say it because if you check my timeline, I was yelling at Jose to bring on this kid. And he comes on, and not only that, he gets the winner. And did you see what he did to Bongani Zungu? Ish. And that leads me on to the moho of the week. Listen, guys, you know when, when you get Shibobo, you know what that means, right? Like, I mean, it's, it's a South African thing. You, you know the embarrassment of it. It's like, I'm not trying to fight you, Bongani Zungu, but when a player does that to you, the youngster that he is, he kind of took Ben 10 from you. Bongani Zungu is the moho of the week and the star. It's time for Bet of the Week. Get ready to win big by placing the right bets on the right games. It's time for Bet of the Week. And I got to tell you guys, I thought there was no games. I really thought there was no games, but I was wrong. I was wrong. There's plenty. Austria going up against Serbia. I've gone for either team to win and under 4.5 goals. Portugal against Finland. I've got Portugal straight win and over 2.5. Italy going up against Turkey. I've gone with over 1.5. Just two goals needed in that one. Belgium going against uh, Montenegro. Belgium straight win and as well as over 1.5. France against Luxembourg. I've given a handicap. So this means I've given two goals to Luxembourg and I'm still saying France is going to win. They have to win by three goals or more. I think they'll get five. Spain against Andorra. I've gone with an over 4.5 goals. The odds is 12.15. 12 times the money back. Even with club football done. We still try to make money. Don't forget to click on the link below. Remember to practice responsible betting at betway.co.za. Can you believe that the season is done? Amazing. But I want to thank you for the love. I want to thank you for the support as well. We see you. But if you are new, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're notified for future episodes.